Hello, and welcome to a very special edition of Blue Peter. And today's show is all about comic relief. Yes, and as you can see, Barry and myself have already got our big noses on. But of course, this year's comic relief is not just about red noses. It's also about pants. And here we have one. Not plants, pants. All oh, right. And what better way to spread the word than by sending friends and family your very own homemade pants to poverty card. Da, 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 da. I'm doing this, Barry. Oh. Now, over here, we have all sorts of pants. We've got big pants, we've got little pants, we've got frilly pants, and we've got long pants. And, of course, we have here Barry's pants. Even better, these pants don't cost a fortune and they're very easy to make. Now, what you need is a piece of card. Now, first thing to do is fold the card. Now, this could be quite tricky. While my assistant is doing this, I'll take a piece of white paper, fold it in half, draw some lines on it, and then cut it out to make the template. A perfect pair. <laughs> now, I take the template and put it onto my card. Then you take a pen and mark out round the template. Like such. That's it. Then you take your scissors and trim off very carefully round. Now, you do make sure that your gusset is big enough. Is your gusset big enough? Of course it is. I'm from Rotherham. Of course you are. There. Then you have your pants card. Yes. Now, all we need to do is decorate it. Can I do this? Yeah, we'll do it together. Right. First of all, we'll need uh, some sticky back plastic. Sticky back plastic. Uh, that we do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I've got it. Um, Why don't we use the little red dots? Or you could use little red dots. That's it. Now, these are very simple to use. You just tear them off the paper and place them onto your pants. Like that. They're quite easy to stick. That's not sticking very well, that. It's not. Look. Get it down like That's that. On there? Yes, you should be able to stick it, OK? I've done it. That's it. That's <laughs> it. They're all... Uh... <laughs> once you've done this, you need to fill your pants. Pardon? Uh, once you've finished your card, you need to fill the pants card. That's what you do. Fill it in. Yes. Now, yes. how you do this, you see, you take a long piece of paper like this yes. and you fold it like a fan. Is that how a fan would fold it, then? Of course it is, yes. Oh. Once you've done this, you mark it round again to make a pants shape. One side of a pants, like an arc. Right. Then they are, Barry. You trim that off. I'll trim it off. Once it's trimmed off, you open it out yes. and you have a line of pants. A line of pants. Oh, dear. It's not worked. <laughs> well, never mind. Here's one we made earlier. Yes. <laughs> got Here it? it is. Yes. No, no, it's the one we made after that. After that? Yes. You got it? Is that, <laughs> that's, that's the one. And as you see, we've decorated them too. Yes. Now, all you need to do is to put the pants inside the big pants. That's right. Like that. Clip it together and we end up with a nice card like this. It's very good. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? And what better for your friends and family to receive through the post on Red Nose Day than your pants? Make sure you wash them first. Oh, of course. <laughs> now, of course, at CBBC, everyone is very, very professional. Yes. So professional, in fact, that no one ever makes any mistakes whatsoever. Only occasionally. Well, occasionally. <laughs> and soon as it's Red Nose Day, we thought it might be fun to show you some of these times when things do go a little bit wrong. <laughs> so here she is singing a song written by her dad titled Angel with a Dirty Face. Here is Jenny Ann Lynn. <laughs> Jenny Lynn Smith. <laughs> it's still free. <laughs> Thanks to everyone at Queen Elizabeth School for all their help with our Music Live special. Yes, and don't forget to look out for Smart on the Road in a town near you in the new year. <laughs> so, we'll see you then. Bye! Bye. <laughs> Jeff, what is the matter with you? <laughs> well done to everybody who's performed in this series and also to all the hundreds of people who auditioned for us right across the country. We're sorry we couldn't feature all of you. Absolutely. <laughs> While we relax, it's time for you to try something at home. Yes, it's time for... <laughs> <laughs> home delivery! <laughs> you're doing it because you're in a state. There'll be loads of other girls you are. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
and Mikey are doing pretty well at skating. I mean, they don't fall or anything anymore, you know, they don't bump into trees and fall over and stuff like Sarah, I've been meaning to go online since Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> you're saying your stupid computer is more important than the cultural and spiritual well-being of your family. Can I have a minute to think about that one? <laughs> now the good news is they've just been allocated a large piece of forest which which is going to be home. <laughs> oh, That's not funny. I'm glad he likes it. Oh, oh a sharp nose. <laughs> That's so disgusting. <laughs> Welcome back. Uh, we've had a letter from Sally from Essex. Hello, Hello Sally. Sally. <laughs> and she sent us this lovely picture of her father with a camcorder taking pictures of her. Yes, and she says, Dear Blue Peter, whenever my father is filming me, I always make a complete fool of myself. Do you ever make a complete fool of yourself on Blue Peter? <laughs> well, Sally, just take a look at this. Chinatown's a super place to eat out. It certainly is. <coughs> <laughs> The name lavender comes from the Latin word lavendum, which means fit for washing. Fortes, fortuna, you what? <laughs> Fortes, <laughs> Fortes, fortuna, you what? <laughs> and here they come now, playing the rousing Scottish anthem, Scotland. <laughs> Right. Here we go. Here we go. Stand by. They're stuck at the top. They're stuck. They're stuck. Have we got anyone Come to help? On. Come on, lads. They're coming. They're, They're on the way. Leave yours. Leave yours. Here they are. Oh, man. Yeah. Yay! Come on, here we go, man. When men say I'm cute and funny, I'm a T, I'm a T, but pearls. That's all we've got time for today, so uh, goodbye. 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 Oh, well, that all seemed to end well. Yeah. It's a good job we don't make mistakes like that on Chuckle Vision. Oh, oh we never make mistakes on Chuckle Vision. <laughs> I what? Your watch? The one I get for your birthday? The one that tells water under time? <laughs> ah, it's a clever watch. Only it's a clever watch. Yes. Our card. We're looking for a present for our Auntie Hilda. She's away in Spain at the moment on a Catalonian bake caking seminar. Is she indeed? I said bake caking seminar. Oh, oh, sorry. Get your coat on quick. Right. Did you find anything? Oh, yes. I found this document. Oh, I've seen it. Do you know, I think there's even more of them staying here. It seems like you might have been on the right track after all. Was I? I've never been on the right track before. I think we've struck. To... Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Get your coat on quick. Did you find anything out? Oh, I found this document. Oh, yes, I've seen. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Get your coat on quick. Did you find anything out? Yes, I found this document. Oh, I've seen it. Apparently, there's even more of them staying here. Is there? I don't know why, but there is. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'll take my coat off then. You better do it. Put it back in there. <laughs> and today's show is all about comic relief. We go again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Paul and Barry, the Chuckle Brothers.